I'm home for my holidays and I don't have COVID. Um, see guys, it's possible to go to Marbella and not get COVID. I did my negative antigen test yesterday when I got home and then I convinced myself that I still had COVID because we all know at this stage I'm a severe hypochondriac so I did convince myself that I had COVID. But we went to a walk-in test center, like an actual proper PCR test and I was negative so it was just being dramatic. But it was a bit awkward because it's probably like the 18th time that I've dragged my mom through the testing center because I've convinced myself that I've had COVID. And it's just been like, oh, negative. And she's like, yay. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> when am I gonna stop thinking every time I get a sniffle that I have COVID? Okay, I just kind of like disappeared to go get ready. I didn't even tell you what I'm doing. So basically, this is a Fresh Hits Week vlog. And um, I've no idea what to expect, absolutely no idea. So obviously I was meant to have my Fresh Hits Week last year, but like, yeah, COVID, so that just didn't happen. So first week is now this week. And I've like been in college for a year. Like I'm basically, I'm basically done college at this stage. Like I'm basically nearly done. And I've one friend, one friend. But it's like, it, it kind of, she kind of makes up for all my friends that I haven't made in college, you know what I mean? But we do have fresh this week, this week. I can see myself backing out of every single event that I've signed up for. I'm just going to the pub now. I'm going to Farmer Brown's with my two best friends. Then tomorrow morning, I've got a meeting. I'm like, anyone going to the meeting and I don't like going to stuff like that by myself so I'm, I'm, I'm quite anxious for that I'm gonna try to romanticize I'm gonna try to live my Rory Gilmore life so then tomorrow I think I'm cancelling all my events for I lost nail it's on the plane Aer Lingus if you see my nail send it my way please the timings are just a bit off for me tomorrow I'm like do I stay in town from like 10 o'clock in the morning until like 12 o'clock at night no oh there's a pub crawl tomorrow night and me and Anya, my friend, we didn't realise we booked different fucking venues. There's different venues. There's, you start at different pubs. So we're currently, I'm currently in John Barry in Bangladesh. That's not what it is. It's like Hagen Delash or something like that. I don't know. And she's in Temple Bar. So we are not going to two separate pubs. That's not a thing. So we're trying to get that sorted. If we can't get that sorted, I will not be going for obvious reasons. Oh my god, you know when your nail starts to come off and you get like hair under it. But yes, that is my vibe. That's my vlog. But I just thought that I'll bring you along because we can all experience the unexpected together. Okay, I'm stressed. I forgot to outfit plan and now I'm really stressed. So I'm thinking of bringing this top in my jeans. My go-to trusty Zara jeans. Everyone always compliments them on me. Chef's kiss. Or else this, but it's a tiny bit suffocating, not gonna lie, because I am obviously just back from holidays and I just devoured a bowl of pasta. I'll ask my mum and then I'll, I'll let you know. This is my perfume. Everyone always says that I smell so nice. I'm like, because I just think that's an elite compliment. But this is, it's the Caroline Herrera perfume. The girls actually bought it for me for my birthday. Do you know what? Perfumes are just something that you, you don't want to buy for yourself. Anyone else got that? Like, I don't want to buy a perfume for myself. Like, I want it to be bought for me. Okay, mum decided on, I'm having a mare. I'm having a mare. Mum decided on this. So I decided I just won't breathe for the night. I'll just try, just try not breathe. Roll the next clip of me in cardiac arrest in a bed. Look how extra this is, guys, but it matches perfectly. My pink mask. Do I, do I just do it? Oh, yeah. I can't believe I'm actually vlogging on a night out. I'm so proud of myself. I just have no one to do TikTok. Why? They go, I'm tired. And I was like, don't care. Don't care. You are unfit. Swim. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, we can go in our box. Thank you. Done. Morning. My head's actually really grand. Like I'm not hungover at all. I'm gonna shower now and get ready for college. You look too eager, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be, like, too eager. I need to wash my hair. Because anyone else find that their hair just gets so greasy when they drink. I think, like, the, like, alcohol just pours out through my hair instead of, like, my body. Does that Because I never, like, get sick or anything when I drink ever. Okay, I'm ready to go get lost. I'm wearing my uniform, obviously. My new top. Whenever I get something new, I wear it until I just... It, it's a different colour. Okay, I'm here. My timing skills have been absolutely impeccable. I've made it 15 minutes early. I'm literally at early now and I'm fucking shaking myself. I'm like, do I just want to go in here? I've never been so lost in my whole entire life. Where the fuck do I go? Yeah, and you only guys can't help. Why did I? Hey, oh my god, I'm just home. So, I went to the meeting and it was so fine. It was so fun. It was a bit pointless to be honest. They told us a load of stuff and they were like, you need to have done these modules if you want to do this and this and this. It's like, 
I'm not doing them modules. Therefore, I literally cannot do sociology next year. I don't know, it's a bit stupid. They were saying all this stuff and I was like, you should have told us this before, but they didn't. Anyway, so, guess how small of a world this is. Remember I said last night that a girl came up to me in Farm Friends and was like, oh my God, hey. She's in my course. She was in the meeting. She came up and we were like, oh my God, hey. Morning, I'm running so late. So I've got a campus tour today. But I, I suppose I need it because when I went in yesterday, I just had no idea where I was going. The bus is actually in six minutes and it's a seven minute walk to the bus stop. How's that gonna work out for you, And then I have my racer boy jacket just in case. Okay, Trinity. Okay, life. I like, I'm like seven minutes early, but I'm refusing to stand there by myself for seven minutes. I've just tried a bench. I don't know which is worse, that I'm just sitting on a bench by myself or standing into the bell tower by myself really. So, hey, hey, that was the most pointless, like 10 minutes of my life. So I'm now just kind of walking around myself. I've like actually left Trinity at this stage, like, I don't know where I am. There's my new home, there's the business school. This place is pretty. It's really like aesthetically pleasing. I'd get that again, you know that. Hello, it's later on. I'm home now. I met Dad for lunch in the park and Chester. Um, really cute, like such a wholesome day, wow. I'm making Olivia Neal's one pot pasta. Fucking delicious, guys, honestly. I'm making some pasta now to line my stomach. Really craving, I'm not gonna get drunk tonight. I don't wanna get drunk tonight. I definitely know for a fact I do not wanna get drunk tonight. So I think I'm just gonna have, like literally, two Aperol. Providing that they're made correctly, I'm gonna have two Aperol tonight. Cheap date, I know. Oh my god, you're so cute! It's the next day and I've got quite a bit to catch you up on. It's the next morning actually, it's nine o'clock in the morning. A lot happened yesterday that like I just like was behind the scenes, so I'm catching you up now. So I'm on my way to the doctor now because basically I need to get diagnosed. I have like chronic sinusitis where I've got something going on with my sinuses. So I wake up and my face is puffy, my sinuses are blocked, my voice is really weird. Like I've got like sinus headaches, like it's like my sinuses, but it happens too frequently to like just be a sinus infection, you know what I mean? I just want reassurance, like I just want him to tell me that it's nothing sinister because now I'm kind of thinking is it long COVID, even though I don't think I had COVID, but you know what I mean? I just want him to tell me that I'm overthinking it because I'm just such dramatic hypochondriac, but also my tummy is just in absolute shambles. Like I have such bad stomach issues and it's just getting worse, not better. And I was on medication for it, but my mum took me off the medication. I was meant to be on it for three months um, and I've been on it since second year and I'm in second year for college. And that's also, I just want reassurance. Please just tell me that there is nothing sinister going on and it is just my anxiety. But I really think that there is something sinister. So yeah, that's that. Then also straight after my doctor's appointment, I've got a job interview and then I'm going out again tonight, providing that my doctor doesn't say you're dying. Also, I'm going to the doctor by myself because my mom annoys me in the doctors because she brings up the most unnecessary information. She's like, when Zara was 11, actually she coughed after she ate a banana. Does that have anything to do with it? I'm like, called it. I have chronic sinusitis. Basically, he just said all the fluids stuck here. He said it's very common, so I feel, I feel a bit silly now. No, I don't feel silly because I'm actually on prescription for it now. And my stomach, he has referred me to some proper specialist. He thinks, but he was like, I can't make an official diagno diagnosis because then if it turns out to be anything else, it's on him. But he thinks that it's just like severe IBS. So yeah, I'm not allowed to have any dairy and I'm so annoyed because me and mum are going for croissants tonight. I'm like, there's fucking dairy and croissants, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, off my interview, wish me luck. I've just done my interview guys and now we've just come for breakfast. And um, have a nice cappuccino. It's gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> Okay, we finished breakfast and mom's bringing me to Zara for a nice sort of retail therapy. She's really treating me guys. I know. I've got to I just went to the doctor. I haven't done my lipstick or hair, but I'm going on a pub crawl guys. So, so, so late though because I did have a panic attack. Uh, okay guys, we've come to the Wagamama to line our stomachs before we go crawling around the pub. Oh, <laughs> I haven't said anything about it, so basically, we're going in like a group of 10 people that we've never met before to like go to a few pubs. Okay, guys, the update is we hate everyone. Guys, we're literally in single file, it's like a fucking school trip, and it's like a tour guy. <laughs> 
Your first question was, are you Indian? Guys, I jumped a bit to see Pam. They just kind of approached me and were like, oh my god, hey, you know, I'm like, sorry, bro. Not us getting kicked out of the pub crawl. <laughs> and I'm home. She came to the pub to her turkey. Do you know we get a trinity? Say it or tell it. Anya's What the fuck? We're off to Spain's now. We have Anya's ex, Anya's gay best friend, and Anya. <laughs> Bizarre night of our lives, guys. So weird. Overnight. See you again tomorrow. Bye. Morning. Last night was just so bizarre, wasn't it? Like, what even happened? Okay, so POA for today is okay, I need to sort out my desk for college. I think I've forgotten that like college is actually a thing. I haven't even registered, I haven't even paid. Technically, I'm not in college at the moment. That I'm going out again tonight. Last time this week. <laughs> I'm too tired. I can't even. I can't even. I'll just have to see you later. Having a mare. I'm having an absolute nightmare. I can't find one shoe. I found it. Never mind. It's just being dramatic. I broke my tripod. I got my period. I'm feeling very disgusting right now. Like I can't. I can't explain my disgustingness. You're, you're gonna be lopsided, but you just have to deal with it because my tripod's completely broken. So I'm wearing these like actual tracksuit bottoms, and then just like this black leather bodysuit thing. Like they're actually tracksuit bottoms. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Because I'm actually sprinting for the bus. Wait, why is Trinity so scary at night? Like, why does it look like Hogwarts? Guys, this is so wholesome. Oh! <laughs> hey guys, we haven't checked in in a while. We're in the well. <laughs> no, guys, because we are actually sitting like this. And we keep catching ourselves like being on show and then we're like. <laughs> Okay, so we got kicked out because everyone's closing and I just left Anya. And can you all guess where I'm going? I bet you can guess it. I, I will pay. No, actually, I won't give you anything if you guess it because I guarantee you'll be able to guess it. I'm going to my mom. It's so out of focus, but so is my vision right now. So maybe the camera's out of focus or maybe it's just my eyes. Anyway, here's my pretty hometown. Also, I didn't even say Anya left and like went straight to like her boyfriend. And I left and went straight to my mom. I'm 20. No, I'm actually not 20, by the way, I'm 19. But like, I have this this thing, like once it passes, like the halfway mark, like once I'm in the like six month run up to my birthday, I'm automatically the next age. Cause I just, I then like, I seem older. And like when my mom tries to like, tell me something, I'm like, I'm 20, even though I'm like, I'm not. Like I'd be, I'd be doing it since I was like 12. Like she'd be like, Zara, you can't do that. And I'd be like, but I'm 13. Even if I was like literally 12 for like two months, I'd be like, but I'm basically 13. So yeah, sorry, that, that, that has no relevance. <laughs> <laughs> you wear a hair nest. <laughs> Why is my mum like 18 times stronger than me? Bye! Morning, it's the next day. Um, I'm gone into retirement. This is the last day of the vlog. I'm out again tonight and then that's it. That's it. You, you won't be seeing me for another month. I'm fatigued. I did get woken up to the smell of a fry though, which is quite a pleasant experience. So I'm gonna try going on a walk now before I need to try get myself in shape to get ready again. Oh my god, I thought that was like the room spinning, but the chair started spinning. I was like, I'm still dizzy. Also, I've got like, I think I, I absolutely scraped myself last night through sweat. But I'm really excited. I'm going to spray as a chair up. Okay, so I think that this is what I'm going to wear. Major emphasis on the word think, because I just don't think I've thought this through. Because I'm going to like a pasta place and I can't breathe in these trousers already. So I don't really know how that's going to work, to be honest. I changed into a more pasta appropriate outfit. I just didn't want to be feeling restricted. And there's nothing worse than trousers when like you actually physically can't breathe, you know what I mean? So um these jeans and then this really cute top. So I'll see you at Spread Chura. I'm so glad I'm so glad I've wanted to go here since lockdown. I've been saying I wanna to go to Spread Chura. We just went to Harry's on the Green, we met Belen's Sp so, so Belen's Spanish cousin, Martha, she's in Dublin on Erasmus, so Belen hasn't seen her, so we were like, oh my god, let's go meet her, and she was at like, these like 12 Spanish people, so cute, so we made a drink of them, then I was like, I'm gonna go home, because I am not Spanish, Belen speaks Spanish, by the way, I don't know if I said that, um, Belen's like Spanish, so I was like, 
I have no idea what anyone is saying. They're like translating it off me, so it's really cute. But I was like, no, like I need to go home. Like I am on my deathbed as it is. So I'm currently, my bus is in six minutes and I'm going home. Good morning. I'm actually quite fresh, but I'm not looking forward to today. It's Sunday and I like to treat Sundays as my like absolute restarter day. I like to journal, like get myself ready for the week because if I don't, I just feel like I'm starting the week. And so, like I'm really into all this. Like, do you know what guys? When I, I actually think I have the that girl lifestyle, but I just sometimes forget to do it. Like my personality is like suited to that girl lifestyle. But then I'm just, I'm just lazy. So I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to actually do it. I'm so lazy. Because when I get into it, I'm so in it and I'm absolutely thriving. But now like it's currently like two o'clock in the afternoon and this is my current state. And this is my room. My my bedroom is even worse. I and I'm gonna run up to the office and show you. Like, oh my god, no, this is this is so embarrassing. Okay, here's my mum's desk. So we've decided to share an office, but yeah, here's my mum's desk. So pretty, so aesthetic. Like, here's mine. I'm getting a bit stressed. All these black bags are like all my like, clothes that I just don't want anymore. And I just haven't done it. They've been here since last lockdown. Like I think since March of like 2020. I've been up really early. Like I've act I actually got up at nine, but just decided to have a severe lazy morning and watch Desperate Housewives all morning. And like have a nice like Sunday breakfast, like all that shit. So I decided to really procrastinate my day. And then it's like two o'clock and I'm like, I need to start. And I fully need an early night. Like I need to like be in bed at 10 o'clock like ready for bed tonight like read my book like i need i need that type of night so i will come back to you when this is done i need to do my drawers because my drawers are probably like oh my god oh my god i'm done guys it took me i would say 10 hours to do this thing like nowhere that i have not moved from this position all day look how clean it is Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. And I actually like cleared my drawers. Like I organized them. I changed my bed. I got my room all vibey with my candle, my lava lamp. I'm so excited. I even switched Tilly to happy because I had had her on sad. But now I'm happy because I'm just a bit more organized. But I finished just in time for dinner. It genuinely, like I did take a few breaks, not gonna lie. But it took me got to seven hours to actually just do that. Isn't that a bit embarrassing? But anyway, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna shower before dinner because I haven't showered all day. And I, I like, I'm, I'm literally gonna put, get back into my pajamas. But I'm like, maybe if I should just shower and then get back into my pajamas. Anyway, that's the end of the video. That's my freshers week over because I officially, I'm not free anymore. It's the last day of summer. It's not the last day of summer cleaning. Isn't that really sad? I spent my last day of summer housewiving. Anyway. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.